In this video I'm going to show you how to set up and use an addition funnel and an addition funnel coupled with a reflux condenser. So we've already seen this piece of equipment used as a separatory funnel. However, I mentioned that this is not the only use for this piece of glassware. In fact, it can be used very readily and very handily to add solutions or liquids in a slow, controlled, or dropwise manner. And in this case, we uh, do not use it as a separatory funnel, but we use it as an addition funnel. So addition funnels are very useful for when we want to be controlled about, controlled and even about the addition of a solution or a liquid or a solvent to a reaction mixture. Um, say we want to make sure that a 15 milliliters of a solution gets added to the reaction mixture over the course of an hour. Um, we can set an addition funnel to have a slow dropwise addition so that, you know, say it's exothermic, it doesn't overheat and boil over. Um, we have the added uh, safety net of having a reflux condenser in this setup. So in the reaction that we're doing with the addition of uh, with the addition through an addition funnel. Um, if we run into the case where it adds a little bit too fast and it starts to boil, we can have the reflux condenser catch that solvent and avoid having it evaporate away. So I'm gonna walk you through how to set up an addition funnel coupled with a reflux condenser. So again, similar to our previous setups, we would have our, our uh, original reaction mixture or starting materials in a round bottom flask. This is a fritted round bottom flask. It's 100 mils. Um, the 100 mil one fits nicely in this heating mantle, but uh, depending on the temperature you need to heat it to, in this case we're not, in the, the case of our reaction, we're not actually heating it. Um, it would just be clamped, but if we did need to heat it, we could use a water bath, an oil bath, a heating mantle, depending on the temperature we would need to heat it to. So I'm going to take the Claisen adapter. This is the one with three ports. I'm gonna take the Claisen adapter and put it in the uh, round bottom flask. And again, I've already pre-greased all of these joints with silicone grease and I'm gonna keck clip it. So I have my Claisen adapter with the round bottom flask at the bottom. Now the addition funnel generally goes in the port that's right above the reaction mixture. If we have it to the side, it may drip down and not actually get into the reaction flask, but if we have it directly above, we can uh, guarantee that when it drops, it's going to go directly into the reaction flask. So I'm gonna take my, my addition funnel, and this is fritted, so I can, I can put it on with grease and keck clip it. And I'm going to keck clip this on so we have a tight seal. So we now have the flask with the addition funnel directly above it. Now I'm going to actually clamp this in so we can, um, I'm going to move this clamp down a little bit lower uh, so it's a little bit more convenient to twist the addition funnel. So I'm going to put the clamp right here, I'm going to close it down. And now we have a secure setup. So I have my addition funnel directly above my reaction mixture. I'm, ne I'm then going to take my reflux condenser and put it on the other port. So that means when it boils, it, it will come into the reflux condenser, if it boils, that is. And I'm going to close it. So now what we have is our total uh, setup. And I'll bring you a little bit closer so you can see. We have our reaction flask, which if we would need to heat it, we would heat it. We have our addition funnel, which I can control how fast it adds by how far open it is. You know, if I wanted to add dropwise, I can open it just a little bit. If I wanted to add quickly, I can open it further. Um, but usually, if we're using an addition funnel, we're going to be adding it pretty, uh, pretty slowly. Now, if this is a volatile liquid, I would probably cap it in between additions. But if I'm adding at a constant rate, I would need to leave this open, otherwise it would create a vacuum and stop adding. So um, I would cap this if I'm worried about it evaporating, otherwise I would leave it open. Um, the reflux condenser in, this, in our experiment is more here as a safety in case we add it too quickly and it starts boiling. The reflux condenser, once I would have the water on, again, coming in through the bottom, out through the top. 
the reflux condenser would just ensure that if we boil away, it reaches about this point and then condenses and drips back down. So we're not losing any solvent um, to the atmosphere during our reaction. Again, very useful if we want slow controlled addition of a solution or a liquid or a solvent to a reaction mixture. And you'll see in second semester 252 that we do use this again to add, uh, add various reagents. So this does is a very useful technique and a useful piece of uh, glassware to do controlled addition to a reaction mixture.